What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with more of Malik Akwebu's NBA 2K My Player career. It's been a while since I've done this. I'll probably be a little bit rusty, but you guys have been asking for it, and it's something I've been wanting to get back into. Uh, all the time I spend recording Madden has just kind of cut into my time working on this game, but it's a game I like a lot. It's a game I definitely want to get involved with, so I want to try to revive the series and... Uh, this is our last day, our last game of our second 10-day contract. As you can see, we are still fighting for a playoff spot, 29-22, and 22, in the seventh spot right now. Definitely not an easy task. We will be guarding Jody Meeks, and uh, let's get things going right off the bat. We're going to pass it down. Biyambu cannot finish, though. Drummond with the rebound here. Uh, we are trailing 19-13, to 13, down by 6, and... The game is sending me all over the place. I didn't know who I was guarding, and Jody Meeks is going to make that all day long. 21-15 to 15 now. Biombo with the ball. Still haven't done too much in this game here. Uh, about under two minutes to go, but Biombo is going to make a nice cut to the basket and finish there. Four-point game, 21-17. to 17. Jennings coming down with the ball for the Pistons here. Trying to make something happen maintain this lead a little bit he runs into a wall right there but drummond is wide open that is an easy dunk for him you gotta guard drummond down there man come on you can't leave him there kimba walker with the ball with the hornets here uh kicks it over to malika quagbu runs into a wall there though nowhere to go kicks it back to kimba walker cut into the basket and that pass is going to get stolen brandon jennings now and he is going to go by Malika Kwegbu. Good effort there. It's not going to work out, though. Butler trying to make something happen, and that is a block for Malika Kwegbu. Getting on the board. His stat card has been pretty empty so far. Now Kwegbu with the ball trying to make something happen. Kicks it out to Walker, and that is going to be an assist. 25-20. to 20. Now a little bit later in the quarter, 41-31. to 31, A 10-point lead for the Pistons. Kwegbu kicks it down to Kid Gilchrist. Who throws it back to Quakebu, cut into the basket, and that will be his first points of the day. 41 to 33 again. And a Quakebu once again making it happen. Two easy layups in a row for him. Four points, one assist, and one block. Not a bad start for him. It's a six point game here. A Quakebu on defense loses Butler, and Butler will make him pay for it all day long there. 43 to 35, still an eight point game. And once again, a Quagbu getting beat. He needs to improve his defense. That is what we are trying to make it as in the NBA as a defensive player. So we definitely got to step it up there. This is Gary Neal trying to make something happen. And it is out. It did not stay in. 48-40, to 40, an eight-point game under two minutes to go here before halftime. Brandon Jennings and alley-oop to Andre Drummond. A huge play there for the Pistons, gaining some momentum Well, you half. certainly have some ground to make up in the second half of this game. Where do you guys need to improve as a team? Um, I don't think we're matching that level of hustle right now. They're putting a lot of effort several times each possession. And that's something we need to mimic if we want to climb back in it. We'll look forward to watching. Kevin. Thank you. Okay, everybody, pay attention. We definitely got some stuff to go over from the first half. We're not going to let this game get away from us. I want to see us be the team that dictates the tempo in the second half. That's the biggest thing. Their fast break played too big a role in the first two quarters. I'll also point to our instincts and our defensive awareness. We've had quick minds and even quicker hands. You guys have been picking some pockets today. All right, time to put on our running shoes. Let's up the tempo of this game and make things happen. And that's all I wanted to go over with you. Let's go play a good half of basketball. Malika Kwebu finally subbed back into the game, but it is 78 to 58, a 20 point game. Malika Kwebu is going to try to cut into that lead early on to him being on the court 18 now. 80 to 62, good defense by Malika Kwebu getting a hand in his face. That is Zeller with the rebound, uh, but a big deficit to overcome here. They need to make something happen. Okwegbu with the ball again, trying to cut into the lead some more, kicks it out to Zeller. Uh, Zeller not too sure, a little fadeaway there. He will make it. It is a 16-point game. Back to 20 here. Uh, 35 seconds to go before the fourth quarter. Okwegbu with the ball. A little behind the back move, seeing if he can make something happen here. Finds Henderson back to Okwegbu. Okwegbu, a terrible pass there. 
and the Pistons have a fast break. Butler, one on nobody, but Okwebu comes from behind him with the Matumbo. A huge play. Okwebu gets the ball back now. Kicks it over to Kid Gilchrist. Back to Okwebu, and the layup is good. Malik Okwebu outside that turnover. An incredible series of events making up for it. What a monster block. Uh, Butler had nobody between him and the basket, and Okwebu just made him pay. However, the Pistons are blowing the Hornets out 88 to 66. We are in the fourth quarter. Things are not looking good. And Aust uh, Augustine with an incredible play there, but he will miss it. A nice move, I should say. Uh, over to Okwebu trying to make something happen, cutting into the lane, and he is on fire with these layups. His uh, first 10 point game, apparently. 10 points, 100% shooting from the field, 5 of 5, all nice layups. Uh, Butler. Coming back at him, and Okwegbu is going to have to foul there. Uh, just a big deficit, though. 21 points, 89 to 68 right now. A little under 11 minutes to go here. Kimball Walker trying to make something happen. He throws it down to Biombo with a monster dunk for the Hornets there. 89 to 70, under 10 minutes to go. Kimball Walker with the ball. And throws it over to Okwegbu, cut into the basket. It is not going to work out, but Biombo is there. He is having a pretty good game here uh, and one on the play after that monster dunk, uh, dunk we saw just a little bit ago. Uh, again, coach is loving us. I like it. I like it. That's always good. Again, this is our last game in our second 10-day contract. So if we can make an impression here, especially with the coach who uh, seems to be pretty happy with us, we could guarantee our spot on this roster. However, we are subbed back into the game and our team is down by 30 points a blowout going on right now and just not much we can do in that situation there drepko is going to make us pay uh, 108 to 76 uh, just a blowout at home no less a quakebu throws it over to williams back to a quakebu seeing if he can make something happen finds noah fondly and that will be a foul uh he will sink the free throws though 111 to 78 i think he made the free throws uh, Jennings with the ball now, just trying to take some time away. The Hornets need this game to end quickly because it is not pretty. And Jennings with the hand in his face is going to sink the three. They are not missing anything. Aquagbu with the ball now, 114 to 78. Aquagbu, little jump shot. That is not going to be good. And the Pistons are going to let this clock run out. 121 to 82 a monster blowout 39 points not a good showing for the hornets here they definitely got to step up their game and hopefully we did enough to make the roster but when your team loses like that nothing is guaranteed josh congratulations on the win what elements of how the team played will you take into your next game uh, just uh the way we was able to help each other out on defense man i was able to get out in transition and then get some easy buckets and uh, we just got to keep playing unselfish. We got to keep sharing the basketball and uh, limit our turnovers, and I think we'll be okay. Josh, your team always dangerous out in transition. Thank you. Guys, back to you. All right, Doris, thank you very much. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, Kevin Harlan saying see you next time. All right, a little interview with Josh Smith there. Here are our stats. Uh, teammate grade is A. That's great. Uh, performance fair we obviously lost difficulty modifier will give us a few points too but we got a cutscene it's the oh. man the oh. myth the high school coaching legend no not as good as a coach since I lost you a few years back it's funny how coaches get better when they actually have good players on their team Man, forget that noise. You taught me everything I know. You, you, you're like a sponge. And it's, it's paid off for you. I am so happy for you. Thanks, coach. I hit the showers. I can smell you from here. All right, man. I got to get fresh. <laughs> All right, sounds good. <laughs> You know, life's a funny thing. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> a couple of months ago, I never even heard of you. 
A few weeks ago, I was certain you were a one-and-done guy. You know, have your cup of coffee in the bigs and then disappear never to be heard from again. And now? Now! Well, now I'm going to tell you that I was wrong not to draft you. And I was silly to offer you only a 10-day contract. And you know, I was mistaken to think you were only here to have a cup of coffee. So you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm saying we're offering you a guaranteed contract for the rest of the season. Heck yeah! Man, that's what I'm talking about right there! Thanks, you're not gonna regret this. I'm telling you, I'm gonna make this organization so proud. Good, good. Listen, you got this opportunity because uh, you've been working your tail off out there. You know, you keep doing what you're doing and, uh, you know, there's no limit to, to what you can achieve. Uh, you got it? Yes, sir, I do. Get out of here. Thanks again. Get out of here. Welcome to the film room, everybody. Coach wanted me to give you all a little breakdown on some of the key points of emphasis strategies we'll be using moving forward. As you know, the entire staff feels it's important to review the basics from time to time, giving everyone a better understanding of what coach is expecting when you're out on the floor. It's going to help the team win more games. Simple as that. Now let's get to it, gentlemen. Getting to the basket and playing physical on defense. So here we go. Now, there are times when coach is going to want us to really focus on getting to the basket. We have some talented players on this team who are capable of getting to the rim just about any time because of their ball handling, speed, and ability to finish inside. When we run into a team that has weak perimeter defenders or is not very good at defending the rim, coach is going to want us to go strong to the hoop whenever possible. Now, let's take a look at some game film showing how we can try and get to the rim for some easy baskets. Here we've got a nice dribble drive play. The ball handler takes his defender off the dribble and gets all the way to the basket for an easy bucket. When we go up against a team with poor on-ball defenders or a team that's not good at protecting the rim, we need to be able to take advantage. And on this next play, look how the ball handler sees a lane open up to the basket and quickly attacks before the defense can react. Easy score. If you've got a lane, attack. No hesitation. Keep these examples in mind when coach says he wants us to focus on getting to the basket. Okay, up next, playing physical. We've got some very physical players who like to use their bodies against weaker, smaller teams. We should be looking to take advantage of those size and strength mismatches by wearing out our opponents over the course of the game. Now let's look at some films so you guys can see what plain physical on the defensive end looks like in action. Here we go. See the defender pressing up on the ball handler? He's not giving him any room to move. You need to be up tight on the ball. Make sure you put a body on them to slow them down. The more physical we play, the better our chances of winning become. On this next play, the defender is down low, bumping his man out of the paint and further from the basket. That's what we need to do when coach asks us to play physical. When they're on offense, we need to lean on them all the time and just keep wearing them down. Okay, that's going to do it for today. There's no excuse not to know what's expected of you when coach calls for either of these points of emphasis in a game. See you at practice. You got it, coach. So there you have it. That was an interesting cutscene. That's definitely new. But we have made the Charlotte Hornets for the rest of the season. That is huge, huge, huge. Um, I was a little bit nervous. You know, when you get blown out like that, it doesn't matter what you do. If your team's losing with you on the court, things are not good. But if you look at the top right, we actually have our first endorsement deal. I am stoked about that. We have made it. Uh, getting about 19 minutes a game right now. We're eighth on the depth chart. Um, definitely need to improve. Uh, we can't have losses like that. You know, we're seventh in the Eastern Conference right now. We could easily fall out of the playoffs. Um, but let's go ahead and check out this endorsement. We have our rookie contract and signed for the whole season and Dottie's Diner. All right, I'll take it. Uh, we have plenty of points to spend. Let's go ahead and start upgrading things again. I want to be known as a defensive player. I don't care about scoring 50 points a game. That's not the style I want this series to be. We will eventually develop into a decent offensive player. Uh, but I would like to pride myself on defense. So we are going to spend a lot of points 
improving our defense here and uh you know just getting that lateral quickness is going to be huge too um getting steals we already saw getting a few blocks last game especially that monster one on karan butler man that one i was i was happy about that i loved that uh, but yeah, we will spend some points. We will also do one playmaker guys. Thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you want to see this series more often hit that like button and I'll see you next time later